Classic here. Today, I am here to open another toy I bought from Korea. This is called Canimal's House and I am super excited to open this. If you did not know, Canimal's is a little composited 3D animation created from Korea. From what I know, they also air in UK. You do not really need to know Korean in order to really understand the show because the characters actually do not speak any languages. They just make weird noises. Mm, mm, mm. Like, yeah kind of noises. Anyway, if you guys are interested in watching some of these really cute animation, I will provide links to some of the animations in the description box below. Before I open it up, I just quickly want to mention that this is suggested for age 5 and up because this set does come with some small parts. going to begin by taking a look at the house. On top of the house, there's a little handle which you can hold to carry around this little house wherever you go. And as you can see, all the parts are pre-stickered, so you do not need to put any stickers on this house. The front door of the house can be opened inwards or outwards if my finger would... Ah! Okay, I'll just open it from the inside. Anyway, here is how the front of the house looks. And all the windows actually have holes in them, so if you want to take pictures of your doll or toys playing in the house, you can totally do so. Turning it around, there's another window on the side. And here is how it looks on the back. As you can see, there's a little knob here, so you can hold this knob and pull like so and you have your second floor the floor is already pre-stickered and here is your little garden and if you want to look at the first floor you just have to pull this out a little further and there you go you actually have a pool and here is how the inside of the first floor looks all pre-stickered as well Aside from the house and the little figure characters, you also get these little pieces of furniture. Here's a little TV and a little TV stand. An adorable little bed. A little side table with a book and a plant. A little vanity table. An adorable bathtub. A little cubby with a little picture frame. An adorable sink to go in the bathroom. Two different sizes of sofa. A little side table with a lamp on the top, a coffee table, and a side table with a telephone. And this is what I find to be the most adorable piece of furniture. A toilet! How cute! So now that we know which pieces of furniture comes with the set, let's put the furniture inside. are in the house. Now let's take a look at these really adorable Canimal's character figures. Here is the first character which is a beagle Canimal. His name is Akto and I actually looked at his um, character profile and he is a happy-go-lucky puppy guy. And if you actually look at the animation, you'll find him just really adorable and super kind. As you can see, the paint job is super nicely done and he is just absolutely adorable. We're going to set him right here so that the house looks more welcoming. This cannibal right here, her name is Mimi. And don't let the cute appearance fool you because she actually has an attitude. She is very bossy and when she doesn't get things her way, she gets angry very easily. You'll see it in the animation. But regardless, I find her to be really adorable. And just look at her blushing. Oh, she's so cute. And she even has little ribbon on top of her head to add extra cuteness. And because she likes getting pampered, we'll put her right next to a vanity. There you go! And this kitty right here, um, I have a hard time telling if Oz is a boy or a girl, but this one's name is Oz. Oz is kind of a trickster. Oz plays a lot of tricks and little pranks on his friends or her friends. And I just love Oz's odd color eyes. I find them to be really, really cute. Here is Oz and we're going to put Oz Hmm, maybe in the pool? There you go! Just look, isn't this really cute? I just love 
Wait, 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 I think somebody's at the door. Cannibals, did you guys invite some friends? Oh, I think he did. So let's see who is here to visit. Look, what do you know? It's Queen Elsa. This is the Queen Elsa figure I got from my surprise egg. So Queen Elsa, you can go hang out with Oz right here. Elsa, did you bring your sister too? <gasps> of course she did. Let's see. Princess Anna, you can go hang out with your sister and Oz as well. Let's see who else is visiting. <gasps> oh, it's Lala Lucy Tiny. These are the ones that you can get from little blind bags. Lala Lucy can join Otto right there. And here is Lala Lucy Tiny that you can get from those little packs. And you can join Atto and the little tiny Lala Lucy blind bag figure right here too. Who is here next? Oh, it's Treasure, one of the palace pets. So palace pets um, treasure can go right up here. Right up here. Maybe I should change the camera angle. Wait on guys. Man, our little place that is looking full right now. But so we have two more guests that have to invite it. Look, it's a littlest pet shop blind bag. Little goat. Hmm, where do you want to go? <gasps> do you want to go tanning on one of these beds? I think that's a great idea. Here you go. Party? I was told that there's a little house party going on here. Well, you're right, Juicy Orange. You're at the party here. So find yourself a comfortable place. Hmm. I think I'm going to go in the kitchen. I think that's the kitchen, right? So that was my quick review on Cannibal House. I love how small it is and I love how it comes with little furniture pieces. They are small though, so it might be easy to lose them. But I just love the fact that this house is compatible with so many different little figures. I have to say my favorite part about this house are the little characters. They are super cute. I love Atto. Who's your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys!